Hi there, it's Jeff here with a quick 25 mark macro essay plan for NXL on financial markets. Here's our stem. The UK's financial sector includes banks, insurance companies and the stock market. It plays a major role in the economy, making up over 8% of GDP and providing jobs for more than a million people. Indirectly, of course, many more than that. Financial markets help turn people's savings into business investment and play an important role in how interest rate changes affect the wider economy. Here's the question. Evaluate the importance of financial markets for the performance of the UK economy. Interesting question. How many of you are preparing financial market essay questions? Interesting. So here's our essay plan. Again, if you've got any comments or questions or ideas for a better answer, please feed them into the comments section and I'll do my best to answer them. First paragraph is quite chunky. I wanted to make a, make a point about how financial markets in theory can have a really important role to play for the UK. Well, first of all, they help channel savings, my savings, your savings, into productive investment by firms, such as via new bank loans. So you could talk about the ability of commercial banks to extend credit, both to, both to businesses and households. But business uh, loans support business expansion, innovation and job creation. And ultimately, that investment can enhance productive capacity. So you could link the financial market to ADAS analysis. The UK does have very deep capital markets that helps to fund tech startups and green energy investment. Our capital markets are where you either raise equity by listing on the stock market, for example, or private equity, uh, or you can issue bonds, corporate bonds. And, uh, you know, we, the UK does have a very deep, well-developed financial sector, which in theory provides ready finance for startups and renewable energy and others, other sectors. And those efficient markets increase investor confidence and attract FDI. I think it's probably a good point here. The UK has a very established, scaled, sophisticated and highly, you know, highly able financial sector. And in many ways, that does provide a, an open door to inward investment, particularly in financial services. Open financial markets allow the UK government to borrow, that's very important, and finance a budget, fiscal deficit, which we know is pretty large. Uh, there are no capital controls, so it's, no, it's easy for overseas investors to buy a new issue of government debt, and that helps keep bond yields low, which in turn reduces the cost of mortgages for home buyers. So the UK has an open financial market system, which in theory provides a ready supply of finance for businesses, households and the government to borrow, all of which have positive potential consequences for the economy. However, <laughs> capital often flows to speculative or short-term assets. Think investment in property, in crypto, instead of productive capital investment. And so therefore, a big financial sector in any economy always runs the risk of asset bubbles and macroeconomic instability. We know that small and medium-sized enterprises, SMEs, often struggle to access finance at affordable interest rates. And that's the cause of financial market failure, uh, which ju justifies regulation or state intervention. The Labour Party is introducing the British Business Bank. And the unwillingness of banks, commercial banks, to lend to businesses at affordable interest rates in part explains low investment as a share of GDP. And that low investment has macroeconomic consequences. My second point about financial markets is that it's a big source of dollars. Trade, trade, trade in financial services is global and the UK is a big part of that. The UK has a comparative advantage in financial services such as banking, insurance, derivatives, foreign exchange trading and much else besides. Now that that scaled comparative advantage helps generate large and growing surpluses on the trade balance in services for the current account. Now, we run a current account deficit, but we run a big service surplus. Now, without that, we'd be even being more of a pickle on our balance of payments. And it also supports many highly paid jobs, which in turn creates extra tax revenue for the UK government to improve the fiscal balance. So the financial sector, my argument here is, is a major contributor to our trade position trade balance and services and the extra money generated in income tax and corporation tax can improve the fiscal balance. However, uh, highly integrated financial markets increase systemic risk. And of course, we all know what happened in 2008 and beyond with the global financial crisis. The UK government was forced to bail out banks such as Northern Rock and Lloyds and others 
uh, Royal Bank of Scotland, and the bailout cost over £100 billion. Uh, and there's an argument for saying that the UK economy is over-reliant on the financial sector. Some banks were thought to be too big to fail, and that over-reliance can distort the economy, and ultimately, if you have a financial crisis, we all pay the cost in terms of increased government borrowing and debt, and ultimately, higher taxes, which is, again, has negative economic effects. So I could develop that evaluation point. It's a pretty brief point on the screen there, but my argument here is essentially is the UK financial system is uh, risks um, unbalancing the UK economy and creating more instability. Final comment, financial markets can help the UK achieve growth, including funding investment in emerging sectors. But my argument is without effective regulation, and the UK government has stepped up financial regulation since 2008. Uh, financial markets can amplify volatility and inequality. To what extent do financial markets make our society more unequal? Light touch regulation helped create the global financial crisis, in particular subprime mortgages, the impact of which is still being felt today, nearly 20 years on. There we go. That was my essay plan on the impact of financial markets on the performance of the UK economy. I hope you found it useful. If you did, consider pressing the like button. But at least send me a question, post me a comment, and I'll do my best to answer. Take care. See you soon.